Hi there, I'm the Neuromuscular Mechanic, and today we're going to be talking about ultrasound-guided tibio-talar joint or ankle joint injections. So what do I use these for? So you can use them to manage pain secondary to arthritis. So with what I see, that can include often uh, post-traumatic arthritis as well as uh, arthritis secondary to inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. So before we look at the ultrasound videos, which are of myself, we're going to go through a checklist about how to proceed with these injections. So what the ideal patient position is, what transducer you should use, where do you start with surface localization, what structures you need to identify on pre-scan, particularly those to avoid, and how do you get after your target. So with patient positioning, I'll have patients on their back, neutral position of the hip, knee extended, and often I'm having the ankle plantar flexed, which helps open up the joint space, make it more obvious. And that might include having the ankle sort of hanging off the bed. With a transducer, because we're looking at superficial structures, both the joint and the overlying structures we want to avoid, we're using a high-frequency linear ultrasound probe. With surface localization, there's many ways to start, but you can take your ultrasound probe and put it in long axis so that you're trying to visualize the anterior ankle joint. If the patient doesn't have arthritis or severe arthritis, often you can see the hyaline cartilage of the talus, which is brought out better with ankle plantar flexion, and we'll look at that. And then with the pre-scan, we really want to identify the dorsalis pedis artery because we need to avoid this with our injection. Um, so we'll look at that. And then as well, we have tendons of the tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, and extensor digitorum longus. And these tendons are very thick, particularly the tibialis anterior. So we want to avoid them to minimize any pain from the injection, minimize any damage from the injection. So again, we'll go through how to identify them. And then when it comes to getting to the joint, there's many ways to do this. So again, you can start, as I mentioned, with your localization in long axis. And then you could go into that ankle joint either in or out of plane, trying to avoid the tendons in the dorsalis pedis. We're also going to talk about in the video, you could also do it in short axis, which is one way where you might avoid the tendons in dorsalis pedis as well. So we're going to go through this. So here I have the ultrasound probe in long axis. Um, and so I'm going to freeze there. And so on the left of the screen, uh, we can appreciate the tibia and then on the right of the screen more distal is our talus so between the two would be our tibio or our ankle joint so this is a spot where you could inject but if you're if you're noticing something and i don't have the doppler on here but above the joint is this sort of anechoic sort of region which is where our dorsalis pedis artery is so if i put the doppler on it'd be pulsatile um, but that's where the artery is. So you need to avoid that, which is one of the risks with this long axis interior approach. Um, and so we'll go through the rest of the clip here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ultrasound probe again in long axis and I'm gonna translate medially. Now you can also go laterally, but I'm gonna try to get away from the artery. So here I go, there's the artery, and now I'm translating a little bit medially. For what it's worth, there's the EHL or extensor hallucis longus tendon. I don't want to inject through that. That might be painful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to basically translate the probe even a little bit more medially. So here we go. I'm moving even a little bit more medially. We'll pause here in a second. And there is the outline of the TA or tibialis anterior tendon. Again, that's quite thick. I want to avoid going through that. So I'm going to now take the probe and translate it even a little bit more medially so that that tendon disappears. So here I go. It's disappeared. And we're going to basically, I'm, I'm basically dorsiflexing and plantar flexing. And you can appreciate, hopefully, the joint there. So you have the tibia on the left, the talus on the right. You can see that anechoic black hyaline cartilage above the talus and it, from the previous movement that I was doing you can appreciate where the joint space is so this is an area where I could do a long axis in plane injection in line with where sort of the arrow is I'm avoiding the artery I'm avoiding the tendons and I would place it in the space there um, so certainly uh, that is a technique uh, that can be done I'm just going to again move the ankle uh, to appreciate the joint there now what I've shown here is, I'm just going to pause here, but what I've done actually with the probe now is I've actually translated from anterior, I've translated laterally such that on the left of the screen we have the bony landmark of the 
of the lateral malleolus and on the right the talus and so you could also do a lateral approach and inject into the space here where the joint is um, again you might have a situation where depending on patient positioning uh, other underlying conditions it might be better to access laterally versus medially um, so there's many techniques um, so now we're going to go back to the long axis and what I'm doing here is now I'm rotating the probe 90 degrees so that I'm in short axis so we're going to this is another way that you can do the injection I'm going to pause here so bottom structure we have the hyperechoic outline of the talus with that posterior acoustic shadowing right above the talus you may appreciate this sort of thin homogeneous black uh, line which is our hyaline cartilage to the left of the screen top left we have the medial ta or tibialis anterior tendon in the middle we have our extensor halysis or ehl tendon deep to that we can see the anechoic dorsalis pedis artery we can see the vein sort of to the left of it collapsing and then to the far right we have the edl or extensor digitorum longus tendon so in this short axis view one of the benefits is that you can appreciate all those structures you want to avoid Usually by the dorsal, dorsalis pedis artery sort of lies um, the, um, um, the deep uh, peroneal nerve, um, but I haven't identified it here. So in this short axis view, you could bring a needle in from lateral to medial, bringing that needle just above the hyaline cartilage and injecting such that you're lifting that fat pad, which lies above the hyaline cartilage but below the artery off and in this view you could see all those structures you again want to avoid so that is another approach that you could use um, and so again just sort of moving things around so that concludes the videos today i'm the neuromuscular mechanic and i hope you found today's video handy take care